I am so happy that we are doing this. Uh, ladies and gents, welcome to 25 population size tiny Socotra. Socotra is already ridiculous in a normal setting because everyone's so close together. And look at this. Now, the players will be maxed out at what I said, so they can only go to 25 population the entire game. But still, it's stressful. And uh, so you've got, you know, one elephant per each player, what that's supposed to be. Uh, so they have to determine which is which. They've got their sheep or their goats at the start. Um, hold on, I'm just going to tab, tab. I think Caps Rage was bugged. Look, I mean, Red's so desperate to get his, his, his uh, elephant he's even going for with the scout. And I do not expect any of this to be easy or convenient for these players. Though that was impressive from Red. I'm surprised Red has the moves. Um, it is free-for-all. However, you do have the possibility of allying people as well. And it being King of the Hill, you could see at the top that there's already a countdown. And the goal in King of the Hill is to get to get, get the countdown to zero. And if you get that countdown to zero, that when it's still on your color, then you end up winning the game. But, like, I don't know where Gray is going right now. But Gray, like, is wandering around with villagers... Maybe looking for elephants. But you can see, like, even the vision's kind of weird. What is up with the vision right now? Oh, God! Wait! <laughs> Wait a second! <laughs> I was really confused why Gray had vision under here. Oh, my God! There was a vill eating the goats under there. <laughs> and I think Teal realized or tried to, like, send the vills somewhere else and just killed it. So, I mean, I guess on the plus side, you know, if you end up losing villagers, it's not too hard to get up the population cap in this game. So it's easier to recover, but a great strategy is actually kind of hilarious here. And there's another villager underneath the TC that somehow didn't take a lot of damage here and is probably going to actually get away. So, yeah. Um, anyways, let's introduce the players, shall we? We have Gray, who is some noob, playing as the Goths. Oh, wait a second. Goths could actually be really good in a population cap game. We'll talk more about that. Uh, in the red, we have King Moki playing as the Portuguese. In the teal, we have Jake from State Farm playing as the Slavs. Uh, I don't know if we can believe that that's really Jake from State Farm at 3 a.m. or whatever the commercial says. Uh, in the purple, we have Beast Mode. In the blue, we've got McBeast. So we've got double beast action here. In the yellow, we have uh, Lotus Dreams. Uh, in the, in the orange, we have Sayadux, or Sayadu, uh, and then we have KP Boy here in the green. So, that's the situation. Um, again, though, not everyone has allied, so, you know, there's just a lot of things going on. I mean, you've got berries in the middle, and I think it's very possible that some players just might not have access to resources. Map gens were not meant to be, to have eight players crammed into them on size tiny, so... Like, uh, you know, red, I'm not seeing any easy access to gold unless you go middle. This area, on the other hand, is amazing, right? Because you've got gold, stone, and even some ostrich in the back. So it's it's just not fair, <laughs> okay? And before anyone says, oh, this is just not, these settings are not fair, it's not cool. It's not meant to be fair, all right? It's meant to be fun and silly, and a lot of crazy things can happen in these types of settings. It's been a long time. Uh, as Gray says, hi, friend, talking only to you. Let's be allies to everyone. Uh, it's been a very long time, actually, since we have done tiny maps. So I wanted to mix it up here. Also, a little reminder is you actually do get resources from holding the monument. So Beast Mode has a big lead here. Look at all the resources Beast Mode has. He's brought in... Um, uh, would be... Start with 200 stone, right? So... He's brought in, like, 300 total resources. I think it comes in at the same rate. Uh, but if it comes in at the same rate, I'm a little confused as to where his gold went. Maybe he got loom or something. Yeah, he would have gotten loom, which plays a role. Anyways, it's been a long day, apparently. Purple says, you okay if I bury to red? And nice of Purple to ask, I suppose, as Purple's the first one on the way to Feudal Age. So... Remember, the rules of King of the Hill, the, the thing, the words to live by with King of the Hill is you usually don't want to be the first person to go to the middle, right? Um, now, it's different, though, because you can only get to 25 villagers, 
and already orange is at 20. So it's going to get to a point where you have to probably delete villagers in order to make army if you want to go that route. And I think it's going to be extremely important to see who's mining stone and who gets stone in the bank. Like, purple's getting stone right now is a massive deal for the long term because you could maybe drop a castle towards the middle. We'll see. We've got gray villagers, purple villagers, red villagers, yellow villagers, green villagers, orange villagers, all the villagers out here in the middle. All playing nice. And this is why I made it so they could be allies, by the way. I think there could be some potential awkwardness later on in this game because you can't ally people in King of the Hill and that can make things weird with the countdown, but I think it's worth it, so this wasn't even more stressful. I just love, though, how tall the monument is. Like, I think it's one of the biggest... Not, not the biggest, but I guess the tallest monuments we have in the game. And I don't know. There's something about this. It's also, like, from a deserty climate, too. So it just seems to fit the map. There's a lot of different monuments we could have gotten. And this definitely seems to be like it was meant to be here. I don't think people tend to remember about the resource trickle. Like, I, I talk about it all the time when I'm playing in games on the stream, but people always want to take me out of the middle, but they don't seem to care when other people have it. And again, you can see Beast Mode's got really good resources. Like, already has enough stone to make a castle now. So obviously isn't in the castle age. Okay, now talking only to you, my friend. Want to stay allies, says Gray. Gray. <laughs> Someone, someone's going to have to teach you how to do chat settings. But this could be intentional. Okay, I watched. Nice copy and paste, but we are good. Jake said yes. Blue says yes, but sure. Okay, so I guess like two of the, out of the three people that have responded don't trust him. But if you make it to the Imperial Age, you get plus 10 population space as the gods, which would be amazing. But... How are you ever going to make it to imp in these settings? Hmm. Uh, I was invited to the Grand Melee, but it, I wasn't happy with how with the format of the event. Like, it was super last minute. I didn't think it would be very... I th didn't think it would be ideal, and it's a lot of travel uh, at, a like, a week before Christmas, and I also found out very last minute. So uh, I was invited, and I declined to go, but they were very kind, and I wish them all the best, obviously, and hope everything goes well. But absolutely was just not in the cards for me to travel to Hanover, Germany, uh, like two days before I'm home with family. Especially after such a long journey, what, like a month ago or so, right? It's actually been a month, I think, since we got back. King Moki chatting up a little bit. Says purple's going to have a big advantage holding the center. Yeah, there we go. Finally, someone's talking about it. Just turn on him and kill his scout and then you can have it. I think it's worth it. And then again, maybe you don't want purple to castle drop you later because of that. And most people seem to be trying to maximize on eco. Yellow's the only one at 25. But that's because yellow had lost a scout or deleted the scout. I didn't witness it. So everyone else seems to be at 24. Okay. Yeah, John, I mean, it's, it's something... So, like... I've been thinking more and more about like, how certain things are running within the scene and things that I think could be tweaked and things that I think could be better for everyone. I'm just kind of holding my tongue on some of that stuff until uh, there's a proper time to discuss it. And I'll probably do that in like early January or something. Or maybe like at the end of 2022. Things I'd like to see tweaked and changed a little bit that could make events better for everybody involved. Oh, that's true. Sicilian First Crusade could be insane. And that's a Castle Age technology, too. Oh, man. You get seven seven sergeants from each TC. I guess it's got to be really expensive to get to all that, but... Yellow says, need perp off monument ASAP. Yup. This is, this is just King of the Hill mistake. And I think, like, maybe I need to show greater examples of this because it's all too frequent that someone is allowed to have the middle... And that person ends up with the massive advantage in the game. Beast mode could be able to drop two castles if you wanted to. Everyone is plotting against you, man. Watch out, says some noob. Ooh, interesting. 
And Red's deleting some villagers right now. That's intentional. That's just to get some army. Okay. <laughs> you just hear units dying because people were deleting them. <laughs> we got 350 years left, which is quite a long time. But again, castles, man. Who has stone? There's some stone there. No stone over here. No stone over here. Stone. Okay, that's big. Stone from blue as well. A lot more people have stone than I thought, actually. Hmm. Purple. Kind of greedy, says red, but the kind of greedy didn't get sent to purple for some reason. And blue's just attacking. Just attacking the mill. Nobody really cares about that. Red just says share. As if, like, give me the monument. And, okay, so that's all it took. So I don't think purple is being, like, super greedy. I think purple... No one had asked purple or said anything to purple about it. Purple's dropping the castle at home, by the way. And could turn on blue and kill all these villagers if purple wished to. But we'll see if purple actually wants to do that. And again, they might not want to make enemies right now. Guys! Oh my god, this is the closest game you've ever seen. Look at the eco count. They're all within a couple villagers of each other. I'm so proud of you guys. You know, it's been so many years of content. You finally are listening to me. That's the joke that old T90 would have made. New T90 is far more creative. Anyways, I'll probably keep it on military population because that tells us if someone's making a run for the middle. I mean, Red's military population is just like a Spearman and three scouts, right? <laughs> I think it's going to be awkward to place castles here, too, because while you can build castles where there's elevation or decline, you can't build it on every tile. You always have to be a bit picky. I think ranged units are probably the best types of units because... Well, no, I think monks, actually, would be one of the best types of units. Not just range units in general. And the, give credit to these guys. I didn't expect them to actually diplo, but they're diploing all right. Having some chat. Gray said, I see, but said, I see to purple. <laughs> and yeah, purple is, uh, you know, he's thinking about making some cavalier here. Yeah, with all the mining camps, the mills, the dungeons now, like, it's really hard to get a castle spot. I think when blue makes it to the next stage, though, let's look at his stockpile. Oh, that's actually so... Oh, man, dungeons was actually a bad idea. Unless, is he mining stone there? No, that's gold. And that's also not him. I think it's a mistake from him to add so many dungeons, because now he doesn't have enough for a castle. Yellow makes it up. And yellow is going to drop a castle. And actually, that was probably with the market. I bet you the price of stone right now is insane. Um, yeah, you can see the price of stone is pretty high. And purple's coming in with cavalier and two petards? <laughs> Excuse me, what? Okay, I mean, yellow's clicking. But this is fine for yellow. Yellow's going to complete the castle. And purple can't really do much more than that. And the dungeons will eventually all go down. So I think... I like the dungeon idea if you still have access to an extra stone to drop a castle eventually. But it doesn't seem like that's the situation. Speaking of castles, we have Jake from State Farm making a very safe castle. Oh my god, guys! Think about the insurance jokes that could be made if you sponsored me, State Farm. Because Slavs, they have a discount on their castles. Would you like a discount? Man, these castles are awfully discounted. Would you like this type of discount on your home insurance? Well, you could just use code T90, blah, blah, blah. See, State Farm, give me a call. Okay. Gray isn't happy about someone taking gold. It's not your gold, though. That's not exactly how it works. Also, where the crap is Gray? Hold on a second. This Gray is 25 vils. Excuse me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gray is 10 of them over here. 
Um... I mean, I remember Gray was running all over before. I genuinely... Oh, Gray's over here now. Okay. I didn't see any farmers. Okay, Orange is going to drop a castle here. I'm going to turn the market events off now at this point. I just wanted to see if this uh, price of stone was high. And wow, we have Imp for King Moki. And we have Imp for Purple. <laughs> okay, guys. I have an idea. Gray's like... <laughs> Gray's like, I'm sorry. He just deletes them. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I don't think that was very smart, Gray. It's going to take a lot of resources. It's going to take a long time to get more vills. You could have just asked to leave. <laughs> um, but yeah, so what I want to see is I want to see the Portuguese player make a Fatoria. <laughs> Because it takes up 20 population space, and losing 20 population space out of 25 would just be hilarious to me. They're all starting to turn now. We've got 100, 200 years left. This is not easy, man. And like, maybe Gray wouldn't have actually been able to survive with all those bills, but I think it would have been worth trying. Anyways. Gray is some noob is in the worst position and I don't think we're gonna see it get any better here I'm actually surprised that we haven't seen more people go down looks like blue's been trying to ram down this castle would make sense for yellow to actually make a ram as well to be honest with you yellow's got to be careful yellow can't make your roomie because there's too many too much population oh no Oh, that could be so bad. Oh, it's working. Blue's position is actually going to hold here for a bit. All right, that's something. You can see yellow. I mean, yellow will eventually lose these vills, which will actually help because then your roomies will be on the way. Um, oh, Blue's being a, a nerd and trying to repair the rams. And purple's also helping out here against yellow. The castle's more than halfway down, though. Oh, man. Oh, and I don't know if the Yurumi can hit it. He's tried. Oh, no. I think Lotus Dreams is, is out of... Yeah, it's out of the game now. And you've got Gray over here. I mean, Gray's losing the TC. Purple does apologize. Purple's being nice. And Purple's going to make Trebs now, too. You can see Purple's playing it well. Deleting some villagers here, there. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yellow's gonna drop another castle back here, and yellow still has villagers, right? It's just, do you have space? Do you have army? <laughs> what type of army do you have? Feels like trebs are gonna be an important factor here, right? Any form of siege to take out the castles. So Orange is gonna start losing this one. And then Jake from State Farm is gonna go for siege uh, in the form of rams. Castle goes down for yellow there. And gray is still just chilling out in other people's bases, which is so funny to me. Just everywhere I look, there's a gray villager. The castle will go down for orange. It looks like orange is going to be pushed back as well. We have uh, 180 years left on the countdown. It's worth reminding you guys that we do not need to actually have army. You just need to have one unit in the middle when that clock hits zero. And Gray's still in this. Unless Yellow turns, then it could be a problem. But there's no real reason for Yellow to actually do that. Who is winning, Eleven? Yeah, good question. Because the populations are all actually pretty high. If this was tiny, but it wasn't 25 pop cap, as Purple continues to hunt down Gray, it would be a very different situation. Uh, players would be defeated, and they would have no hope of continuing. But that's not the situation we have here. The Trebs from Purple, though, have moved in. Purple is just ransacking everybody here. Like, Purple and Red are destroying. I'd be curious to see, like, what happens between Red, Teal, and Purple. Because they're bordering each other. And they're both allied to each other currently. Remember, though, if the monument is below 100 years and it switches hands, it goes back up to 100. Unless there's some alliances involved which is obviously the case here, and then it can sometimes go up to 50. 
So it gets a little weird, uh, the the timer, when you have players being able to ally each other, but I figured it was worth it to make the start less intimidating. Monks are a really good idea, by the way. You don't need the eco to produce actual units, and you can convert theirs. Heal up. Okay. Big army for purple. Two trebuchets. And a couple cavalier. And that seems like it's enough to deal with yellow at the moment. Yellow continues to overboom. Like <laughs> yellow has 23 bills. Green actually has been really silent over here, I've noticed. And green has had 25 for a while. And you see the stockpiles here of resources if you're curious. Um, I don't think Allied Victory has to be on, because for Allied Victory to be on. People, like multiple people have the ticket but you might be right I'm not entirely sure okay so Cavalier seems to be the way purple enjoys playing this Cavalier and Trebs working pretty good I love the double castle though double castle organ guns that seems really strong also don't mind the boyars Teal's not too happy with orange's presence and it's going to lose a Boyar here to the conversion there from Orange. He's paying very close attention. Army counts now eight for Purple. Purple's really getting confident now. All right. Is it worth it to go for the Flemish Revolution? <laughs> I think it's very much not worth it, right? It's, <laughs> it's very expensive. <laughs> Yellow's trying is is best to stay alive in this game just by converting units. Paying pretty close attention here. Even switches the conversion there at the last moment. So gets two Cavalier. Not bad. If you take out the Treb, you could maybe delay the inevitable a little bit. Okay. There's no Monastery though, which is disappointing. Here's Gray again, just wandering into someone's base. <laughs> what is Gray's point of view right now? Obviously, Gray's allied with the people. That's funny. All right, we officially hit 100 years. So red is the person the players will maybe start to focus on a little bit more. I don't know what the plan is here from Gray, but I like Gray's perseverance. It's a good personality trait to have. Gray's got villagers since Siege Towers. Man, thank God for some noob. Some noob has provided some really fun things to talk about when there was nothing else to talk about. Oh my God. You can't even see it. He's going to try and win this thing. And he's hoping that Red will move out of the way. Like, if, if Red doesn't have units here for a second, it'll toggle over to Gray and no one's going to understand how. Because the Siege Tower is hidden. It blends in perfectly. And obviously, they're allied with Gray as well. Okay, Gray has moved it. And now he's just going to... Oh, he's putting it right back to the hiding spot. Wow. Okay, that's smart thinking. And now everyone else is talking about how they have to push red. And it's all going to start to fall apart for red, as it should here. And you can see that teal's turning on red. And red's going to lose all these castles here. Yellow's still barely alive. Gray hoping that the units will get pushed out of the middle. We have elephants here. 370 HP elephants here from KP Boy. So he actually got Chatras, I believe. A Vietnamese upgrade that adds 100 extra HP to the elephants. Blue just casually going to get that relic. Gray just casually rolling in with another siege tower. Oh no, but purple's actually enemy to gray. So that's uh, that's a problem. But yeah, countdown's reset. And gray still has the siege tower there. <laughs> I love this so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it's it's even harder to see when there's no units there but ah oh, green noticed it boo boo give the people what they want give gray a chance <laughs> okay well gray gray now i mean a hundred years is a long time and gray is finding out that you actually need some army <laughs> um so yeah, that's probably not gonna work, but it did he did get to hold it for longer than you would expect. 
This is messy, guys. Uh, super messy. Great job from Purple, though. He's actually adding Light Cav to counter the monks. The yellow's trying desperately to hold on. He might be able to. Got a Paladin that was converted. That'll die. Oh, man. It's so, so ridiculous right now. And Gray still has it. Gray still has the middle. Gray is repairing the ram that is attacking him. Yes, that's exactly what's happening. I don't think Gray realizes what's happening. But wait a second, there's still <laughs> there's still villagers back there, man. Oh, split them up, split them up. Come on, Gray, split them up. Oh, sad times. He actually hid this villager inside Blue's Rams. Red's is all part of the plan, and I've kind of forgotten a little bit about Red because Red's just been getting wiped off the face of the map. But if there's one thing Gray has shown me, it's that you've always got a chance in these settings. I think Yellow might be able to come back into this because Purple's going to have to think more about the middle. Like, Purple should definitely be shifting middle now that it's, you know... 90 years and counting. Yellow desperately needs that conversion, but won't get it. Okay. Red is asking for mercy. I don't think Teal should give mercy, personally. I think that that's just going to give you more problems later on. You're in a good position to win this game, too. Red says, Teal, I beg, please. You can have middle. Well, yeah, he can have middle. He can also have middle if he kills you. So, I mean, he's, he's, he's in a good spot. And I'm not so sure that Teal's position is really that great if the, this castle goes down. Like, Teal won't be able to make any more Boyars, which is the only unit that Teal's really thought of. And Blue converts a Paladin there, but I think it was converting a Paladin back or something. That Paladin has actually switched sides a bunch. Is that not a purple Paladin? It was originally a purple Paladin. Remind me to follow the life of that Paladin. I'm going to hotkey that for later on. That paladin's been all over the map, man. Okay. <laughs> if the YouTube thumbnail for this isn't the dumb and dumber meme, so you're saying there's a chance, then I'll be very sad. I mean, depends on how good Gray does, right? But everyone's got a chance. Every single player's got a chance. And now it resets back to 100 years for Marsh. Well played. Again, Purple's got to start to think about this. Gray's going to go in with another Siege Tower. Hmm. Red did lose that castle. This game could go on a long time. Like, if you think that you're dead here, I think you should just... Just keep running around finding resources. Hmm. We got Forging on the way for Yellow. Poor Yellow has really been focused on by, by Purple. But Purple is just stubborn and doesn't want to give up until the job is finished here, I guess. Orange now has the mid, but Teal's Trebs going crazy. Red's upset. Red just used the word despise. Said, I despise Teal. He's offering services. We'll see if those services are taken. Might actually be the end of the road here for Yellow. Orange has to constantly, um, <laughs> constantly dodge here. It looks like Teal has almost used attack ground, the different areas here. Look how Blue's gone for Monks. Yellow has been defeated. Salutes out to you, Yellow. Obviously, sad times, but things happen. And uh-oh, uh-oh, the Trebs and the Boyars, and this should be a clear. Full teamwork from everybody here, all on Orange. And I think Orange is doing the right thing with the Civ. Going Arbalest and, and mixing in Monks is helpful too, but you have to be on point with Micro, and Teal's got 15 military. What's Teal's economy look like? Jake from State Farm doesn't have the best economy. And that's what you would expect when you have that much military in this game mode. So, Teal could be favored, but also could be a big negative for Teal in the long run here. 
Blue, I, I really like the monk choice, guys. Especially if you have decent control of them. Like, not only is it the only way to get above 25 population, but I think it's pretty cost effective in the long term. Uh oh. Teal's gonna turn on blue. Teal knows I can't lose these Boyars. And Teal's gonna turn and kill all of Blue's monks. Oh, man. Uh, misclicked, actually. But yeah, still, sadly, Blue is going to lose every monk. Where does Grey pop right now? Grey said, I'm rooting for you guys. It's possible Grey doesn't actually have pop. One military. Purple's losing Trebs. One military. What? Does anyone see it? Is that it? That might be it, actually. An eco zero. Okay, so the only thing Gray has left is the buildings and then the siege tower. Hmm. We'll have to go back to look at that the paladin later. And Jake from State Farm clearing up. Jake from State Farm. The army number's really mattering. It's at 16 right now. And Blue says, let's take care of Teal, the betrayer. Is saying this to Purple. But I don't know if Purple really has a lot. Purple committed everything to defeating Yellow. Okay, Onager. Hoping to help. And Blue. He'll convert that Bowyard. Onager will get a good shot off. Oh, he deleted it! Oh, he deleted it! Wow, that was... Man, Jake from State Farm is beasting it right now. I know he's played in community games before, and I hope he's not offended when I say this, but I wasn't expecting this level of quality. But then again, it is also the fact that, you know, Jake from State Farm took initiative and treb down other people before they could treb down him, and then also has more army right now. Ray Siege Tower update. It's over here now, guys. Waiting for his moment. <laughs> Waiting for the moment where no one else has population and they don't have army to... Take out the siege tower. <laughs> I love purple. <laughs> purple says, Do you have resources? I'm strapped till payday. <laughs> oh man, I guess he doesn't get paid on Fridays, man. He gets paid on Monday. Ah. <laughs> uh. Hmm. I mean, green... I feel like green's elephants could be really strong. They are elite. Conversions matter the most here, though. Like, overall, just, like, converting and healing just has so much value. <laughs> I like how, like, so many people have ventured over to the same gold. We're not a lot of resources to be sent over to purple. Okay. Yeah, this is, this is never good. So you're going to want to probably back away from this if you're purple. Oh, man. And even Atonement is in so we can convert enemy monks. Dang. Smart thinking. Look, he pulls this back. So now that monk's his. There's going to be more monks on the field now for Jake than anybody. And Jake could convert the elephants, too. Do they all... Do they have conversion juice? They do not. That could be the only downside here. Uh, the monks need to convert if they can. The boyars probably need to leave, and now Green realizes the monks have conversion juice, as I called it. And 18 population for Jake! That's military population, by the way. He's gonna lose a few monks here, obviously. Orange Bud wanna delete that palisade wall to get Streamline's trade with me. Oh my god, they're trading. Gray is trading right now. He's still at a market, so he figured that that would be enough. And Gray is asking Orange to delete these palisades so the trade is safe. Okay, so I was incorrect. So Gray has a siege tower, which is hidden behind a yellow house. Gray has, uh... Uh... Gray, Gray has a market, then. I don't think Gray has any other buildings. I, I, Gray used to have siege workshops, but either they're blending in or they're just not there anymore. Let's look at stockpiles again real quick. KP Boy is a lot of gold. That, that should be for monks, honestly. 
Like, I, I think adding in a few monks would be good. At the very least, just to convert your elephants back. Orange really wants these elephants, but I think the atonement choice from Jake is going to surprise a lot of people. Converting the other person's monks is not something you see a lot in these games. And that said, though, this monk has ventured too far. The other monk did too. And we have 20 years, guys. Oh my god, they need to go. They need to go now. Everyone needs to be in the middle. It has to be a full commit to the middle. I didn't realize it was 20 years. Now, you gotta convert all Teal's units here if you're orange. Oh, man. Oh, man. He's, he's running low on army now. Jake from State Farm is running low on army. It's 14 years. 13 years now. And he's not gonna get it. Orange takes the monument. And he's kind of run out of steam a little bit here. He just didn't have a lot of villagers, right? And Red is actually back in business somehow. You could tell Teal had a I need to win this now or I'm dead moment and sent the bills. But clearly everything was a little bit too late. And Purple's... Are they both trying to steal Yellow's farms right now? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so they both had the same idea to steal Yellow's farms and Blue got there first. And now Blue is going to hit... I guess Orange is Vils over here. And Orange notices that. Wow. Okay. Well, Orange is the new favorite. 20 military, though. So the stockpile is not great. But I guess... Oh, yeah. When you have the middle, you do get precious resources, though. Red truce question mark says green. The red says ye. It's going to be crossbow choice as well over here. And they're going to truce it out so they can go against Orange, who might even be a bigger favorite than Teal earlier, because there's Elephants at 420 HP. You've got Arbalest, and then you've also got some Monks in there. I like how Gray is, like, giving tips to everyone, even though he's effectively dead. I still have to take a, a look, but yeah, I don't think Gray actually has any buildings to produce out of, except for the market. Uh could actually um maybe use that use the gold and wood to sling resources to someone could in theory win with the siege tower and trade carts in the middle <laughs> the blues monk is gonna die sad times for the old man um here you have another monk that's gonna die sad times for another old man Frey is now allied with what seems like everyone but We'll see what that really does as the countdown's at 55 years. Now, in a normal game, you're going to say, well, why aren't these people going? Why aren't they going to the middle? But in this type of game, it's like, well, they just can't. And I think it might have reached that point where no one can really do anything. Like, they all have to ally together and turn against Orange at the same time here. They've got to go. Gray says, I feel like we've been enemies long enough. Ally to end? Okay. Purple's like, yeah, why not? And Purple's gonna make some stables here. 21 military for the winning player right now. It's 7 for number 2, 7 for number 3. So those two alone might not even be enough to do this. It's Ethiopian Arbalest. So they fire faster. Plus there's a hill involved. Plus there's some monks. Plus there's a meat shield of 840 HP from two elephants. Those two elephants are the key here, I think. Uh, this is also a cheeky castle from Blue. He is Sicilians. If McBeast wasn't Sicilians, this castle would never have a chance. Also, Noblistics means that this castle could go up and this castle is going to... Oh, it's a distraction. At the very least, it's a distraction. Orange also had to look at this. Does blue have more vills? Okay, here come the rest of the vills. That castle will complete. And it will actually shoot Orange's units as well. That's a big deal. Oh, man. The treb shots as well flying in. Great job from Shake from State Farm. It's 23 years, though. Mid, says Green. And there's the castle. And how many Arbalest have to die because of this? Now you only have 14 army from Orange. We got Rats and Archers ready to go. Rats and Archers, they're pretty effective here. Rats and Archers, very good against other Archers. Good from distance, but 
You still have the problem of these elephants that used to be yours, Green. Trebs from Jake have quite a few kills, I've noticed. But they're also... Oh, they're not coordinated. Oh, gosh, no. 12 years. Grayson in the trade cart to try and steal it. Gray's helping. Let's go. Hussar from purple. Rats and archers from green. Go, 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 go. Come on, trade cart. <laughs> I want this trade cart to do something so badly. Orange is so desperate here. Realistically, though, the trade cart shouldn't do enough. The Trebs won't do enough. Orange only needs one unit alive, and the elephants could always come in to seal the deal. And yeah, that's going to be the GG there. Uh, great job. That was about as difficult as we expected it to be for, for everyone. I mean, great job. I mean, Gray could have resigned a long time ago. Obviously, he still did it for the fans, did it for the people out there. And uh, I don't why is Capture Age doing this, by the way? This is like, must be a bug of sorts. Hopefully, it's not a big issue for you guys. Most created military units is an interesting stat here, though, isn't it? Uh, Orange produced 49 Arbalest. Uh, let's look at resources collected. Obviously, arbs are a bit cheaper when compared to, like, a boyard, but still pretty impressed with that. The wood count seemed pretty high. The gold count also was one of the highest there. So that showed. Uh, things like units converted also could be a big talking point. And that is here. Pretty good there for Orange as well. I think the biggest issue for Jake from State Farm is that people were just in stronger positions. Uh, at the time that, that he ended up going in there, right? You normally have the first person that goes to the monument. They never get it. Second person goes in. They rarely get it. And then the third person's always got a chance because a lot of those other strong players are crippled and a bunch of other things might have gone down. Uh, good game. I think if some of these players were to redo this, they'd be a little bit smarter with the monks. Uh, whether it's like making their own monks or avoiding the monks and not losing units to conversions because the monks definitely swung things big time in this game. But it was stressful. So players, I sorry for putting you through that. I personally had a good time watching it. Um, we knew it was going to be ridiculous, and it's fun to uh, you know fun to see unique settings like this and go back to what it was like when the PCs were made of wood and internet barely was a thing. <laughs> I think the default game was pop capped at seventy five. I don't think the game ever was pop capped or forced you to be restricted to twenty five, but. Um, I guess with eight players at 25 population, that's still way more population than what the game was able to handle felt like back in the day, or at least on par with that. So good stuff.